Today I'm going to update from vSphere's vCSA Appliance version 7.0b to 7.0c, also known as 7.0.0c. <laughs> Did you get all that? Um, last time it didn't go as well, so going from 7.0 to 7.0b um, had some bumps in the road. And basically I talk about deleting one little file over SSH and you're good to go. So now it's um, some time later. Uh, let's see, I wrote this July, uh, July 3rd. Now we're in kind of late-ish August, and we're gonna give it another go. Now, um, uh, interesting. Yeah, I was moving some cables around. I'm not worried about any of the Skyline um, health checks here. Uh, what I do wanna look at is just the Updates tab. So I'm pointing to the cluster. I'm at the cluster level, and that's where the updates are. The thing is, you got this bright blue banner that brings you to the same place. And you saw it pinwheeling a little bit. And what it's doing here is telling me that on July 29th, so three weeks ago, come on, get on that, Paul. Um, this version came out. Let's have a look together here. Yeah, there we go. 7.0 release notes, 7.0.0c release notes. All right. Now, I've had some comments dropped on my site where one person had some trouble. Snapshots and Snapshot-based backup solutions for VCSA aren't going to be supported uh, much longer. I think up to update one or update one will be the end of the line for that. So 7.0, you can still get away with it. Let's just do it anyway, just in case something goes wrong. You don't want to keep multiple snapshots. You want to delete this right away afterward. All righty. So we've got a snapshot of VCSA appliance. That's good. Also, we want a backup of it. All right, let's go back to the Updates tab. All right, so we've got a snapshot done right there and completed. Let's do both. So we'll do the interoperability first. I don't have a fancy lab situation. I actually have things uh, greatly simplified at the moment. And you'll see some orphan data store and VMs here because I've been moving some driving around. All right, I'm not at all worried about any of this. Okay, that's the update planner. Let's open this section back up. That's a little weird, right? You have to open that section to get back where you were. Pre-update checks. So all this is laying the groundwork for simply opening up VAMI, V-A-M-I, the port 5480 interface to your VCSA appliance. This button is just gonna launch that for us. All right, so basically it's saying we're ready. And it launched VAMI for us. All right, I've had some alerts with memory, which is interesting. Um, and I already beefed it up at some point. But anyhow, here we are, we're on build number 6292. And we're about to go to this later build. Fine, our backup's working. Well, guess what, it's gonna warn us. Check that out. So we go to the update page. It hits the internet again. Oh, it didn't find a new version. Huh, okay, well that worked. So we're there, we got the 29th there. Um, not quite sure what happened there until I manually checked, because it normally does that. And we're gonna go ahead and stage and install, but let's have a look at this first. We already did the pre-upgrade check. So enough of the words, Paul, just get on it. Let's stage and install this sucker. Now it's gonna prompt us to check if we've got backup working. Okay. Let's go to backups. It opens a new tab so you don't lose where you were. And you can see the machine has been backing up. Let's sort. The default sort order is a little weird to me. Seems kind of like you'd want the recent backup on top. So we gotta click that twice. Yes, August 18th. So I'm not at all worried about that. I'm ready to close that tab. The daily backups are working. I'm telling it that it has backups working and I hit finish. And now we just wait a bit. And that's gonna take a little time. So it's downloading a large RPM bundle. Um, it's pulling these from the web. And actually I can have a look at what kind of speed we're getting. So I have a uh, router monitoring tool and it's showing me right now, we're hitting about 200 to 3, 
200 to 400 megabits per second, somewhere in that range as it's pulling down different files from a repository. So yeah, now we just need to wait for that to finish and um, I'll continue the video from there. Make sure the VCSA appliance is still behaving and then uh, if it's still working, we're comfortable it's working, I'll probably go ahead and delete that snapshot. Now it's time for the time warp, stand by. All right, that looks promising. So we'll hit close here. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna clear the, put that in my clipboard here. We'll Google for that in a minute. Control C, let's clear that error, check for updates, and hit the URL again. All right, so that's behind the scenes issue, right? This is the, uh, VAMI updater with a minor warning there right after the update, but I think we're good. So let's head back to vSphere client. Naturally, you're going to need to reconnect here. I've got a Chrome shortcut, so it fills the whole screen, but that's just Chrome browser you're looking at with the URL bar hidden. All right, so we're back. And where are we? 7.18 p.m., it's been checked. A little unclear what's going on there. Not unclear at all. So it just checked it. There's no generate button to be had. We're at the latest version. So if we go to summary, we'll see we're on 2.0.0.1.3. Huh. <laughs> All right, it doesn't match anything, but uh, we'll need to figure that out. How about this? And there we go. Okay, so we've got the patch done. It shows a different version here, but we're good to go. We're having CPU exhaustion now in the VCSA appliance, so I'm not sure what that's about. I'll need to... Um, Apparently look into RAM and CPU. I don't know. And we've got some other little things here, but those are pretty common after an upgrade. All right, so our VCSA, everything seems to be fine here. The VCSA appliance rebooted, it's done its thing, but the CPU is still exhausted on it. So kind of get the feeling that, well, it's starved for resources, yeah, no kidding. But why is a question. So let's have a monitor. Let's have a look at that thing. And look at, is it doing some sort of housekeeping right after a reboot here? The answer seems to be, well, during the install, or upgrade, it was very busy. But now it has settled down. Also, RAM, not particularly worried about that. And let's have a look as we close out this video here and delete the snapshot. I've got four vCPUs allocated to it and 12 gig of RAM in a com small home lab with few dozen VMs, that shouldn't be a big deal, one would think. So, uh, and because performance concerns when you have snapshots, you don't want to leave them around. So I'm diving right in. Now, if, if you're in production or something, you want to go a little longer, or think about it this way, we have a backup. We could revert to a backup, but that's a more time consuming process. You gotta download this 7.0.0 um, code. You've got to run it, running its installer, and then point it to the backups to restore the backup config to a new VCSA appliance it basically builds. So a little more painful than simply reverting to a snapshot. So as I'm talking here, um, I probably should have kicked that off earlier. We're gonna delete all the snapshots. And at that point, I'll consider this project done. And I'm ready for a presentation tomorrow to a VMOG. So 
pretty cool that uh, it went well, honestly. So I have more time to finish up what I plan to show. Um, so yeah, at this moment in time, we are at this funny spot where we've got version. Let's have a look here. We've got version 7.0b for ESXi, but we have 7.0c for VCSA. And actually, I mentioned that in the article here. Let me show you that. Nope, there it is. I mentioned that right up front. Um, but that will change, right? 7.0c will likely come out for ESXi very soon. And so the upgrades continue at that point. And um, hopefully you found this video of the VCSA update process helpful. I want to thank you for watching and for visiting TinkerTry.com, where I've got a whole collection of vSphere 7 articles already, as well as a vSphere 7 playlist over in the videos on YouTube. So please consider subscribing or thumbs up in the video, it, the, um, this video or others. It really does help. Um, and uh, it helps bring those videos to other people's attention who might also find them helpful. All right, can't resist. Let's have one more peek. There it is. Remove all snapshots completed. Now I feel great hitting stop on the camera. Bye for now.